Check this out. Give me some volume on this. Where did he got this information? So the ancient Egypt, the original one, not the one that we know of today, is actually in America. I know. That's... It's hard for me to wrap my head around this one too. But did you know that there's more pyramids in North America than there are in Egypt? Which is odd, because you would think that if the Egyptians were from modern day Egypt, there should be more pyramids there, not over here. But how did they get over here in the first place? Also, look at our dollar bill. It literally has a pyramid on the back of it. And that's the Washington Monument, which look a lot like obelisks over in Egypt. Really, the similarities are insane also did you know that on april 5th in 1909 there was an article published about the exploration of ge kincaid which was funded by the smithsonian is where they discovered an enormous cave system in the grand canyon while ge kincaid was floating down the colorado river and this cave system extended 1600 meters into the ground like that's massive and they found egyptian hieroglyphics they found tools they found pottery, they found even mummies in it. They found an entire room full of them. But they won't tell you that because to this day, the Smithsonian is in denial of ever funding such an exploration. And there are claims that G.E. Kincaid never even existed. But that's not even where it stops. Look at this old map of America. It's called T. Amari Khan. And in the Egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary, T. Amaru, which means people of the land of the Nile flood, AKA Egyptian. 